Natasha Price is a physiotherapist with over 18 years' experience. Now, we've asked her to take a look at Bob's surveillance of this soccer scrounger in action. Although she's not involved in the case, her opinion shows just how far-fetched Paskin's claims to disability really are. Someone with the severity of disability that he's claiming would not be able to do this. This sort of footage just makes me really angry. I'm a medical professional. I deal with people who have severe disability. And this man clearly has no disability whatsoever. He may have some back pain or neck pain, but it's clearly not stopping him from being able to referee a football match. To be claiming disability living allowance, taking that money away from people that really need it, is just appalling. Back in 2003, Deanna was involved in a car accident and sustained a back injury. Her claim for disability living allowance states she is unable to walk more than five yards without help. The diagnosis is severe sciatica. In the early stages of sciatica, when someone has recently presented with it, they may well have limitations in the movement of their spine, constant pain in the legs, some numbness, some tingling. They generally don't have problems walking, but they would be a bit slower. We would expect that the majority of people with sciatica, so that's over 80% of the people with sciatica, will settle down within six to 12 weeks to a point where they've got very little pain at all. So three years could be an extremely long time to claim benefits for a back problem that usually improves after three months. We absolutely positively encourage people with back pain and sciatica to do exercise. I have to say that Taekwondo would not be top of my list, but for Deanna James to be able to do Taekwondo, I find it absolutely impossible to believe that she couldn't walk more than five yards. On her disability living allowance forms, Vanda has claimed to suffer from severe cervical spondylosis essentially chronic back pain. Cervical spondylosis is a very common condition. Um, it's a wear and tear problem with the spine. So your discs in your spine become a bit smaller and the joints get a bit closer together and then get stiff and that can cause pain. But the majority of the population will develop this and be symptom three. And Vanda seems to be like the rest of us. Vanda Lewis says that this is so severe that she has to walk with crutches. So, Van der Lewis is clearly not as disabled as she claims to be. I mean, she looks very independent to me. 